Getting to Machu Picchu requires preparation. Most people's journey to Machu Picchu starts from Cusco. So this guide will focus on how to get to Machu Picchu from Cusco. Cusco's altitude is over 3.3k meters or around 11k feet above sea level. So we highly recommend taking it easy for a couple of days to acclimate to the altitude. This video will cover everything from buying your entrance ticket to your train ticket and bus ticket. So please stay with us. From Cusco, you need to get to Machu Picchu Pueblo, also known as Aguas Calientes. The only ways to get there are by walking the Inca Trail, which takes two to seven days, or by train, which takes about four hours. We bought our tickets on Perurail.com. We recommend buying your train tickets in advance before you arrive, as they can sell out quickly during high season. Go to Perurail.com, enter your destination, and choose which train you want to get a ticket for. A copy of your passport is needed to complete the purchase. More info in the description box below. Make sure you print all of your tickets, as you will always need to show a printed copy and your passport. We recommend getting your Machu Picchu entrance ticket as soon as you get your flight to Peru, as the number of tickets can be limited, and you may not find the right time and date you want. We bought our ticket on boletomachupicchu.com. We will leave the link in the description box below. The site shows how many tickets are available by date. Also, please be sure to get the right ticket. If you buy a Machu Picchu ticket, it will not give you access to Huayna Picchu nor Machu Picchu Mountain. So make sure you get the right ticket based on what you want to see. Two train stations go to Machu Picchu from Cusco, San Pedro and Poroi. The closest one is San Pedro, which is less than a 10 minute taxi drive from the center of Cusco. Once you are checked in at the station, you will wait in the waiting room to board. After you board the train, you will go to your assigned seat and you will find plenty of room under your chair or in the baggage storage area for your luggage. We stored our big bags at our hotel and only two carry-ons, which we recommend doing. People wonder whether to get the Vista Dome or the Expedition with Peru Rail. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison for your reference. Honestly, the trains are pretty similar. Vista Dome is a panoramic and immersive experience, but a bit more expensive than the Expedition which is equally scenic. The four-hour ride on the Vista Dome is a pleasant experience. The ever-changing landscape, coupled with the music and narration of the Vista Dome experience, makes the journey seem shorter. The tracks follow the mighty Urubamba River all the way to Machu Picchu Pueblo. The train will stop for about 15 minutes in Ollantaytambo station. You can get off to get drinks and snacks and stretch your legs. When you arrive to Machu Picchu Pueblo, you need to buy a bus ticket to Machu Picchu, the final leg of the trip. The bus station is in the center of the town, right across from the bridge, and the ticket office is a few feet further. Once you cross the bridge, make a right on Avenida Hermano Sayar, and then a left on Calle Maita Capac or Capac. Make sure you have your passport as you cannot buy a ticket without it. Once you have your ticket, you can line up at the bus station at least one hour before your entrance time on your Machu Picchu ticket. It takes 30 minutes to go up to the entrance and once there, 
you will need time to check in and use the restrooms. We got an official English speaking guide from the bus line and it was worth it. He not only shared the history of the place, but he also showed us the best way to visit the site and where to take the best photos. The bus will drop you at the entrance. There, you can check in and use the only restrooms available in Machu Picchu. Depending on the path you select, your visit can last from two to four hours, so we recommend using the restrooms before getting in. Also, make sure you have coins to pay for the bathrooms. Remember that Machu Picchu is only one way. You cannot go back to see the things you passed, so make sure you take your time to take pictures and enjoy the view at every step. Gimbals, drones and selfie sticks are not allowed in Machu Picchu. If you are sensitive to insects, we recommend wearing a repellent as you are technically in the jungle. No food or drinks are allowed, so get a nice healthy meal before to get enough energy to hike and trek and to take in this amazing view. We truly hope this has been helpful to you. Please let us know if you have any questions or comments. Tupananchiskama Machu Picchu. Tupananchiskama Machu Picchu.